Hey everybody, it's Miss Day. I wanted to show you the results from the watercolor techniques. So this is what it looked like when it was dry. This is wet on wet. That means the paper was wet and we applied some wet brush strokes across it and they bled and ran and moved. This was wet on dry, so the paint was wet, but the paper was dry. So the brush strokes stayed exactly where you put them course unless they touched and if they touched then they would bleed together glazing so glazing this is very traditional for watercolor you want to show the transparent layers so you're able to see different colors at the same time uh, because of the transparency and I tried to do several more layers so we could see how far I could take it lifting so lifting is when you use a clean brush um, with clear water and you run it across your paper several times in order to pick up the wet paint to try to bring it back to the white paper of course this doesn't always work but um, it's a good thing to do immediately if you know that you need to try to save some paper. Charging with paint. So charging with paint is um, when you take your brush. Well, first you paint the paper. You take your brush and you can touch it to the paper. And the paint that's in your brush will darken that area. You can use the same color, different colors. So that's what we mean by charging. You're touching the paper and charging um, up the, the paint with more paint. So if we take it, the next one, the next one was charging with water. And charging with water, you're using clear, clean water from your brush. And you can see right through here, it created these patterns called blooms. And that's very traditional with watercolor to create those blooms. Here's the wax resist or crayon resist. So we use the wax to seal the paper to save those areas so that they could remain white. Um, because in watercolor, um, there's, there's typically not white paint. There's white um, gouache, but uh, with watercolor, the, the paper itself is what is white. So you have to think backwards in a way. This is the salt, and this is what I meant by the little stars that it will create. It's not dry all the way. There's still some damp areas, but you can definitely see the pattern that it, that it creates. And it's very um, similar to a bloom in a way, uh, but kind of more um, erratic or the little edges that are sticking out or even farther. So I hope you enjoyed these techniques. Good luck and I will see you soon.